Hello everybody, Marco Trippetta for Hot Hardware here. Over the past few months, we've shown you quite a few sneak peeks at AMD's MAUI home theater PC platform. If you're unfamiliar with MAUI, it's basically a combination of AMD processor, chipsets, graphics, and peripherals, in combination with AMD Live software components, assembled in a compact home theater PC form factor. At the heart of the platform is an MSI motherboard that features D2 audio technology, that can be configured with either a 5.1 amplifier or up to a 7.1 channel preamp. You've got to see this thing, it's pretty cool. Check it out. Our AMD MAUI Home Theater PC came assembled in this slick and media PC enclosure. As you can see, the most dominant feature on the front of this case is this readout right here. This readout can display various information like PC health data, for example, or information about media being accessed through Windows Media Center Edition. Just above the display is this drive bay. We've got a Blu-ray drive in this system here. And at the bottom is a fold down panel. And behind it, you can see a USB port, built-in flash card reader, FireWire port, a couple more USB ports, an eSATA port, and headphone and microphone jacks. Just above them are the power and reset switches. There's lots of stuff to see on the back of the AMD MAUI home theater PC. Here's a standard ATX power supply and a couple of cooling fans that came with the NMedia PC enclosure that was used. In the I.O. backplane you have HD component output, DB15 VGA output, SPDIF inputs and outputs, and an HDMI output with audio. We should note that that HDMI output can also be adapted to DVI using an included dongle. Just next to that are a few USB ports, a LAN jack, firewire port, and to the right of that are various analog audio inputs and outputs. Next, you can see the cable and antenna inputs on the AMD Theater 650 card. And to the right of that is something new. What this is, is a connector block that'll allow you to wire up speakers directly to the amplifier that's built in to the MSI motherboard used in this system. More on that next. There's a lot going on inside our AMD MAUI home theater PC. I thought we'd point out a few of the more common components first, ones that you're likely to have seen before. First, we have AMD's Theater 650 TV tuner card here. We've covered that on hot hardware quite a few times in the past. Here you have a standard SATA Seagate hard drive, a SATA Blu-ray player, and here we have a high efficiency Corsair 450 watt PSU. We should point out that this system consumes about 70 watts while idling, and under load, it can consume about 100 to 115 watts, depending on what you're doing with the system. Here is a standard DDR2 RAM used in the AMD MAUI Home Theater PC, but next to it is something you may not have seen before. Cooling the AMD Phenom X4 9350E CPU powering this system is a low-profile silent flux CPU cooler. This cooler is interesting in that it uses an evaporator chamber and tubes filled with liquid coolant to cool the CPU. As the liquid in the evaporator chamber is heated, it runs through the tubes, then through this radiator where it's cooled, and the cycle completes again. It does a very good job cooling this low-power CPU and works fine without a dedicated fan mounted to it. With a higher-end CPU, that probably wouldn't be the case, but here it works quite well. Our AMD MAUI Home Theater PC is built upon MSI's MediaLive Diva 5.1 motherboard. This motherboard uses AMD's 780M chipset, which features an integrated DX10 Radeon graphics core. We should also note that the graphics core built in here can offload much of the HD video processing duties from the host CPU to smooth playback. What makes the board more interesting though is the integrated Intersil D2 Audio DA3 chip that's on board. That sound chip works in conjunction with this card here, which is probably something you haven't seen before. What that is, is basically a built-in 100 watt per channel 5.1 amplifier. If you want to use standard speakers that are not amplified with this rig, like you would use in many home theater setups, there's no need to have a separate amplifier. If you'd prefer to use a higher end amp, however, a 7.1 channel preamp card is also available as an option. One of the beauties of AMD's MAUI home theater PC platform is the seamless integration of AMD hardware and AMD Live software components with Windows Media Center. We've got a few of the apps running now and are going to show them to you here. First up is AMD's Live Explorer. This application gives users easy access to various on-demand media that's either stored on the web or on the user's PC. You can also access locally stored photos, music, video, and television right from one interface. Other live components show up on the right. 
It's within Windows Media Center that a lot of the excitement happens though, so we're going to show you that now. If you're unfamiliar with Media Center, it's basically a 10-foot interface that runs on top of Windows that lets users control their PC using a remote control. Here you see the menu running on the AMD Maui PC. And since our system's equipped with an AMD Theater 650 TV card, we thought you'd show you some live TV right in action. Just give it a moment for the app to load. Performance by you and this team in this chase. Impressive. Congratulations to you. Want to give you a couple minutes to celebrate with your team. And then we'll get As you can see, it works just like any other set top box. You pick your channel, you hit enter, and it's going to take you right there. In addition, while you're watching TV, you can even switch to other apps so you can see the TV continues to play in the background there. Next, we're going to move on to some Blu ray playback using ArcSoft's Total Media. We've got a Casino Royale Blu ray disc in the drive right now. Just give it a moment, the app's going to load, and you'll see how the machine plays back full 1080p content. Now, Blu ray discs do take a few seconds to load, that's why you saw that delay there. Let's turn up the volume once again so you can hear the audio. As you can see, perfectly smooth video playback. Let's bring up Task Manager and see how the system is being taxed. So even with a full high def Blu-ray disc playing, you're looking at only 35 to 36 percent max CPU utilization with an AMD Phenom quad core in the rig. That's obviously going to go a little higher if you've got a, a dual core in there. We hope you've enjoyed this look at AMD's Maui home theater PC platform. Once again, this is Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware. Thanks for stopping by.